For a long time, people have been making their little Miis and living in the world of Nintendo, whether it was, of course, with the 64 and everything that we grew up and loved that, the GameCube, playing some Pokemon Snap, or ultimately waving around some nunchucks with the Wii and Wii U. But this week we found some perhaps sound, sad news, a little distressing. Speaking to Polygon, a very popular gaming website, Reggie Phil Emmy. Am I saying that right? Fisame. Fisame. So, no, I'm saying it incorrectly then. No. Reggie Fisame. I always hear him as Reggie San because he's always yeah. in the press conferences. Uh, Reggie Fisame. It's irresponsible that his name spelled that way. Uh, spoke to Polygon and said, from a first party standpoint, there's no new development coming after the launch of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We really are at the end of life for the Wii U. It's done very, very soon. March 3rd is the final first party game that's coming out for a gaming console. And it may not seem like a big deal, but for a lot of people, it's really, really important. It's momentous. We're going into a new era, a new change. So I'm uh, I'm joined by a couple of mourners that just wanted to say a few words. We have Richard Jellison and Travis Hyatt here taking the place of uh, Liam just for a sec to just say a few words on behalf of the life and legacy of the Wii U. I knew the Wii U personally. I knew him through some pretty hard times and sleepless nights. And he had a lot of character. I mean, two of the best character action games I've ever played. Sure, his release schedule was spotty at best, and as time went on, there was less and less to do with him, but what he did have was heart. What he did have available to him, he did very well, but from the time we met, even in the beginning, there was already doom in the air. Processing power of the hardware really doesn't matter. And I say that with confidence looking at the most recent generation of home consoles where the Wii, which you know the, the broad industry looked at and said, boy, this seems to be underpowered, but sold 100 million units globally. And the consumer saw the innovation of the Wii Remote and the active gameplay we offer. So in the end, it comes down to the games. The games drive the install base. The games excite the consumer. And again, we feel very good about the games we have, not only from a first-party perspective, from a third-party as well. And as a result, it really helped the broad media understand just how important content is in this business. Because if the content is strong, it'll drive the hardware, it'll drive the install base of the platform. There simply wasn't enough support given to him. Not close to enough to keep him alive. There's barely a third-party release title, and his back was forcibly turned against what the public was demanding, what they were crying out for. And now, he's just survived by his pregnant wife, Nintendo, who will soon give birth to their son, the Switch. May Iwata give them both strength to face the hard, rainbow-colored road ahead. Thank you. When I bought this, the Wii U Wind Waker HD bundle in 2013, I thought, yeah, this with Smash and Mario Kart will give the boost that Nintendo needs. How could they go wrong with this? Well, cut to four years later, and the Wii U is on its deathbed. Despite the servers for online games still operating, as well as the digital eShop. E now, I did enjoy the Wii U. It wasn't the whole package, but it was passable. But looking back on it now, it's a shame that the Wii U never really caught on with consumers beyond the Nintendo loyalists. But, perhaps it wasn't meant for anyone else other than the Nintendo crowd. It might have not have delivered when comparing to the Xbox One and PS4, but it didn't have to. The Wii U was literally just trying to be its own thing. Despite its setbacks, the Wii U did try its hardest to succeed, but fell into pure obscurity. I'd consider it a novelty console. It has its quirks, and really doesn't do anything significant to stand out, but it also seems the people who own the system really did take a liking to it, myself included. At least owners will be left with the Wii U's swan song, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, 
assuming they didn't already jump aboard the Switch Express. The Wii U. Too weird to live, too rare to die. Thank you. That was beautiful, Travis. That, that, that was my very first eulogy ever. The Wii U was first released to North America in November 18th, 2012. And unfortunately, it will have its final first party game released March 3rd, 2017. A big thank you to Travis and to Richard for creating this final goodbye to the console that meant so much to us. Now, it is a sad day, but it's also a day to look forward to what the Switch will give, to what it will bring, and hopefully continuing on the legacy that will be Nintendo's legacy. We're going to be back right after this. <laughs> 